Welcome to the VO Crew. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. <sighs> Just explain to me what you were trying to do when this happened. Well, I was in Barbados hanging a picture on the wall. Okay, that tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> Homestar Runner reference? <laughs> Hey, first prize. Hello, arts and crafters. So, are you going to vote for me for most artistic? Of course I am. What are you going? I'm going to vote for playtime for most playful. Or should she be most talkative? She does talk an awful lot. What about Bully? Most athletic? But I don't remember him playing any sports. But what about me? Oh, that's easy. Most friendly, because you're my bestest ever friend. That was adorable, Livy. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like Baldy's doing it again. Looks like I have no choice. Never get the wrong answer. Oh, God, please don't hate me. Prince, let go! The kid has 99 seconds bound for you! You should know better! <laughs> He's got his own way of dealing with Baldy, I see. <laughs> it huh? isn't that hard, you just- Calm down, Baldy. What is it this time? The student doesn't know the answer to a simple question. I mean, who doesn't know what equals to? Oh, God. What? Not you, too. Hi, everybody! My name is Baldy! Though I'm not fully bald, I still have a string of hair on my head. So I don't know why my name is Baldy! Silly name for a person, though. <laughs> Anyways, I love math! I love it so much that I want to marry it! <laughs> you may now kiss the math! <laughs> mm, oh, I love you, math! I love you so much! <laughs> Forever in love. Another thing you should know about me is that if you did very, very bad on the math test, or if you got a lot of things right and just won, and yes, I mean one wrong answer, I'm gonna give you the sloppy slap! Take that, you stupid student! How dare you get only one answer wrong! Who cares if you got a lot of them right? You need to be good at everything to pass my class! Why am I like this? Well, it's simple, because I'm a meanie-bull beanie stinky butt who has no friends! The principal hates my butt, and I like to take my anger out on little kids who don't do any better! I just think in general, and I don't know why I'm even a bitch! Ahem. Gulp. Oh, poop, it's him. And just what do you think you're doing, Baldy? Or should I say, playtime? Bonus? Dear plate, I mean, body, do you take this lovely piece of math as your wife? Yes, yes, yes! Oh gosh, yes! I've always wanted to marry math ever since I became a math teacher! <laughs> oh, those little rascals, when will they learn? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! What are you smiling at? Did you know that the average person eats eight spiders while they're sleeping in a lifetime? Uh, 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 what? That evening. Do you really need that? Uh, no spider getting into my mouth. The problems with eye bleeding. Oh, no running. No, the halls and the, the running. Uh huh. Oh god, is that what time it is? We are late for school! Huh? Oh, gross. Uh, why are all the adults around here older or taller than me? It sucks. Somebody is upset there. No. I'm going to slap you. Oh god, I'm stuck in the wheel! 
I think that the fourth wall is kind of glitched. No glitching in the halls? Huh, this magazine says that 30% of people on Earth are idiots. I'm glad that I'm one of the remaining 80%. Uh, wh uh, uh, what? Welcome to my schoolhouse. How many times do I have to tell you? The fact that you're my husband doesn't mean the school is yours. <laughs> Principal finally snapped. <laughs> and finally, I'm a baldicorn. <laughs> just, just why? <laughs> sleeping, sleeping. Uh, I'm dead, sleeping, sleeping, talking in my sleep. I ain't get no sleep cause of y'all. Huh? Baldy, you gonna win? You're not gonna sleep cause of me. Baldy, if you sing really loud noises again, I will smack you with my superpower. I told you so. Mr. Bobby, what's gonna happen to Adam? Is he okay? That ruler. It looks familiar. Run away! Oh, I'm running. I don't wanna play this game! Oh, I'm coming for ya, Baldy! Adam, do you want to know why I steal Baldy's old shirt? Uh, yeah. Turn around. Huh? Do I look so fabulous? Bali, give me back my shirt! <laughs> you can trade me for it. Give me something great. Ah, I'm gonna put you in detention. Worth it. I will pretend that I didn't see that fly go in my mug. <laughs> Bup, bup, bup. Look what I have! Where the heck did you take it from? Oh, nobody important. Um, <laughs> I rather won't ask more. <laughs> you didn't hear that, did you? Yep. Oh dear. Boy Killer Bird Birdie Draw said, Hey Baldy, how is life as a sock? By the way, you look adorable right now. And Christopher Devil said, Sock, how does it feel to be a human? Vice versa for Baldy. I guess being a human is alright. Being a sock is horrible. No, oh, come on, it's not that bad. I smell like sweat and people put their feet in me. I can think of no worse fate. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't think I'd want to be a sock either. <laughs> a fan sent. Ah! This is the mood I definitely have at this moment. Theoutsiders.com said, Hey Baldy, how will you be able to smack rulers now? And Random Green Dino said, How can you smack with your ruler now? You have no hands. I suggest you stay out of my classroom. Help me. Anonymous said, Suck, Baldy, tell me a funny sock story. There once was a sock covered in red and stripes. Art made him happy and he wasn't ever down. But people grew sick of him and threw him outside. He went away growing a big old frown. When he went to the place that was called the washer, he thought this was a good place to draw art. Eventually, he was thrown in the wash with all the others. After the wash, he was on the ground, all wet and flat. This sock was only good for people's feet. He curled up, thinking he was rather useless. The poor sock has fallen asleep, hoping one day he'd be better for others than something pointless. How was that for a funny story? <laughs> that wasn't funny at all! <laughs> that was super depressing! Hey, Baldy! That was mean! Socks are not pointless! I'll beat your butt, Baldy! I'm coming for ya! A fan of the Ask Arts and Crafters blog sent in Baldy as a rabbit. Hippity hoppity, here comes the boppity! You have five seconds to run. <laughs> and here's Morrowak! 
Marowak. More like Mara Smack. Got him! You all are quite fascinated in drawing me as creatures. Ugh, you know what? I think I'm starting to get exhausted from being a sock. Huh? I'm back. To normal. Oh, thank goodness. I don't smell like feet anymore! <laughs> and now, back to the sock. Yay, you're back! Yay, the sock is back. That's right, I'm back. But it makes me happier to see everybody misses me more. <laughs> Anonymous said, is there any drawing that you like the most? This is my favorite drawing that my teacher taped to the wall. The best part is that I used watercolor for this picture. Ooh. Aye, aye. <laughs> Anonymous said Principal got Baldy pregnant! <laughs> Did I just hear inappropriate rumors about me and the principal together? These kind of things shall not associate in this schoolhouse. Now, go to the office immediately. Oh, you're in trouble. And Anonymous said, do you like dolphins? Of course I do. Riding on a dolphin is one of my biggest dreams I want to achieve. Unless I can make a plastic dolphin to ride on. Oh, that would work. It's time for Arts and Crafters. Yay, 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 yay. I've missed you guys. Ask the Cyborg Pony said, oh, why are you so small? Me? Small? I don't know what you're talking about. You silly sock! What are you doing in my diorama? Uh-oh. Listen, I, I am not small. Even if playtime caught me in your small classroom. Anonymous asked, are you friends with First Prize? Of course me and First Prize are friends. Yay! However, the rumors about me and First Prize being a couple weirds me out a little. Me and this old bot are just good friends. I love everyone. Anonymous said, what's your least favorite thing to do? Playing sports and doing stuff in gym. Sports isn't really my thing, so I often stick to art-related stuff instead. Mickeladdin said, eat egg. Oh, okay. Hum. Anonymous said, do you play Roblox? Also, you're super duper cute. Th thanks so much. Uh, but uh, I don't know what a Roblox is. It's 1997, and I only got CD games. Anonymous said, I have a question for Baldy. Tell us about playtime. What do you two do when you're together? Ah, uh, yes, about one of my other students. Playtime. She is a polite child and does know how to count very well. Sometimes, I often help her out with other units. I take her outside to play games related to numbers so she can understand math more as well. So, I suppose we do have some father and daughter like moments. <laughs> Anonymous said, Hey. War is right. I'm gonna eat all you puny humans. <laughs> and Anonymous asked, can you draw your favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur is a T-Rex, because they're big and strong, and they'll shout, Roar! And I just had to show you guys this. The artist of this blog actually drew me. How freaking incredible is that? <laughs> you also might notice a couple other people in that picture you'll recognize. Anonymous said, macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Put the cheese in the noodles and what do you get? A delicious meal that everybody can enjoy. Oh, thank you so very much. You're all quite your kind. <laughs> Miss Olivia Caitlin said, who made you? Hmm. Let me try and remember from memory. Could it be the principal made me? Uh, could it be the bully created me? No, no, that's not possible. No! But it can't be. The one who created me was... Was... It was that big old potato head! He created me all along! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's Mr. Potato Head, okay! <laughs> Anonymous said, What would happen if we made Miss Paper Doll into a human? Or just made her actually alive? Gasp! <laughs> One big delicious cookie for Miss Paperdoll. 
be me and your Miss Paper Doll, and you'll get the super duper glue. Wow, that'd be a dream come true. Maybe one day that could happen. However, Principal says no hugging Paper Dolls in the hall. Anonymous said, Hey Arts, how big is first prize compared to your size? Also, is there any time first prize has ever shown negative emotions? Well, from what Tim calculated, he's around five feet. And he's pretty much bigger than me. But first prize did show some negative emotions today, since that mean old bully was saying things to him. Somebody really hurt my feelings today by saying me things. And Anonymous said, Hey Arts, take this! Gives him a paper heart-shaped chocolate box with little crumbled brown paper balls inside. Give this to Miss Paper Doll. Girls love chocolate, especially when it's in a heart-shaped box. Oh, Miss Paper Doll, I got a little present just for you. I, I hope you enjoy the gift. I, I think she loves it. <laughs> Silly the school counselor asked, Would you like to have a staring contest? Okay, but I don't need to blank. Button I said, Mr. Baldy, can you teach me how to be scary, just in case someone bullies me? Well, with someone your age, I recommend a blank, smiling stare. Yes, just like that. Anonymous asked, Baldy, doesn't it make you feel sick eating all those things? No, should it? I don't actually try to digest any of it. Actually, what would happen if I did try? Mm -hmm. Oh god. I'm either gonna poop or barf. Either way, something's coming out! Purple Piano 13 said, Hey Baldy, answer these two questions for me. What's zero divided by zero? And a student finds out that one plus one equals two. Explain why this student is incorrect in his findings. It Calculation error. Solution destroy all humans. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Anonymous said, Poof, Baldy and Principal have switched clothes. Oh, this is incredibly ill fitting. And slimy? I don't think he wears underwear either. Ew, what the heck is happening with your. You're wearing my skin. Oh, uh, what now? Yeah, I feel every inch of what's happening right now. I never tried to shapeshift my skin away entirely before. I'm in a lot of pain. Another bad thing, I can still kind of feel what's happening in my skin. Oh, God. Freaking ew. Anonymous said, and poof, Baldy and Principal switch bodies. <sighs> How the heck do you balance without ears? Oh my god, I can hear everything! Playtime is opening the cafeteria door with arts and crafters. It's a bully is trying to get into my locked office. What the heck? Pretty cool, right? No, change is back! Purple Piano 13 said, If you've watched SpongeBob before, remember that scene where Doodlebob and SpongeBob fight with large pencils? Replace both of them with baldies and the principals with rulers. And when you reach the part where Doodlebob erases SpongeBob's pants, just stop there. Um, is this a complicated ploy to look at my butt? Or did you just stop when logic fell apart the most? Rulers don't have erasers. Friggin' weirdo trying to look at my butt. Purple Piano 13 hot glued a pencil to one end of the ruler and a large eraser at the other. See? Rulers can have erasers! <laughs> hey, that's cheating! You're still not gonna see my butt! As Playtime deactivated Ask Playtime. Sir, we're the same person! The same height and same jump ropes! Yeah! I think the only thing different about us is our hair! We should play more jump rope together! Anonymous asked, Hey Baldy, boxers or briefs? Uh, I don't really wear clothes, so what's the difference? As Playtime Deactivated said, I have 900,876 extra jump ropes. Take one! Baldy is already buying me another one! Best day! <sighs> bees in her eyes! There were bees 
in her eyes. DJ Phantom Light asked, um, arts and crafters, did your baldy get the blue flowers I gave to you to give to him? Also, please don't sneeze on them, or else glitter will be everywhere, and it'll be extremely difficult to clean up. Yeah, I figured that out the hard way. <laughs> Now in Baldi's classroom. Anonymous said, your blog is overrated. You're a butt. <laughs> Anonymous asked, may I hug the principal in the halls? Well, I prefer you didn't. It's not against the rules. Yay. Anonymous asked, whoa, you're like me, but you can shapeshift? That's amazing. Does it feel weird to hold a form for a long time? I guess it's uncomfortable to be in a different form. Though, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm even used to the form I'm in right now, after 347 years. Goodness gracious, Baldi's old. <laughs> Ask any of my OCs or others, Dia asked, Can I hug the principal and you, Baldi, please? Ah! <sighs> Yay, I like hugs. Although, I think you're crushing my ribs! The bald pewter said, Anonymous asked, So when are Baldi and Playtime coming back to the schoolhouse? Tomorrow, during school hours. Duh. Unless a meteor falls and destroys the school, we all gotta sleep at some point. Scorpio SP Art said, A meteor falls and destroys the school. Principal's dead. Alexa, play Despacito. <laughs> Cosmic Gemini is asked, Wait, Playtime has bees in her eyes? They're not really bees, just floating particles of pure energy. I think they're kind of shaped like hearts. An anonymous said, Poof! The school has now been fixed, but there's rainbow glitter in the halls, lockers, and every room in the schoolhouse. I gotta sweep, sweep, sweep it up. Don't make me work any more overtime. Alexa said, The principal is what now? I'm dead. Apparently. As Playtime Deactivated said, I saw you teach in Button Eyes a while back how to be scary, but I can't do that scary smile face. Do you know another way to be scary? Try melting your face or letting black goop run out your mouth. Just relax and focus on what you want to look like. <laughs> yes, because we can all just do that. <laughs> <sighs> Anonymous asked, does Baldi have a default form? If I relax too hard, I look like this. <sighs> Anonymous said, hey Baldi, ask Baldi and fam left you some blue glow flowers in your room, but now there's glitter everywhere because they were sneezed on. Don't ask me to clean that up. I wasn't gonna. Fubble Bubble asked, hello fellow Baldi, are you excited to go camping? Ah, bird, bird, Kala! It's evil! Yes. Ask which 1010 asked, Baldi, I'm not very good at math. Shows him the you can think pad and gets two wrong. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> why would I hurt you? That's not something a teacher would do. Let me see. Okay. Huh. You're gonna get the slappy slap slap. Ah, get away from me, you freak! Pen Soda asked, does Baldi know algebra because I'm having trouble with it? Actually, algebra is easy. Observe. Hmm. <laughs> easy, right? Now, try solving this equation. <laughs> On the real, I don't remember how to solve this. <laughs> 12P Me Too said, I need Baldi's blessing for tomorrow's high school entrance exam. Pretty please? Good luck, and don't die! <laughs> the artist said, I just woke up and realized that Baldi's head looks like a maraca, and now I'm sobbing. Oh, hi! <laughs> It's too perfect! <laughs> Anonymous said, can someone please give Bully some candy? Here you go, Bully. Thanks. That's pretty great. Anonymous asked, can I jug you, Mr. Baldy? Er, hug, not jug. Too late. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a ball. <laughs> Anonymous said, we need more Maraca Baldy. Ha <laughs> I'm evolving. <laughs> Anonymous said, Baldy, but it's anime. I broke my own rules for you. Nani? <laughs> Malamin text he Satan asked, Prince of Baldy, but in a nutshell. Not. Is this too literal? 
This might have been too literal, guys. Is this is this what they were asking for? I'm not sure. <laughs> An anonymous asked for Baldi's basics, where everything's the same except Baldi is a buff guy. You're gonna get the slappy slap slap. Oh God, no! Anonymous said, "Why do I love Playtime so much? She's so cute. Do you want to play with me, Playtime? I'll give you cookies and a lot of love. I wanna play and cookies." A coyote named Bailey asked, "Baldy, what's it like to teach Playtime and Bully math?" Let's talk about math. I can catch the tap. That's stupid. Moobox87 asked, "What happened to your wife?" I think I ate her. Anonymous said, I suffer from depression and I want consolation. Hmm, no feeling depressed in the halls. Will you marry me? You're incredible! That's great! You're pretty great! DJ Sonia asked, What is it that makes the principal feel good? Justice tastes good and fills my tummy! <laughs> Freaking what? Batmog Blog asked, how old are Baldy and the principal? Secret. Actually, I like when kids guess my age. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Beth Cartoons asked, how old is Gotta Sweep? I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. I was living all my life in the school that I forget everything. Do I have a house or something? Well, that's it for today. What the heck? Anonymous said, does the principal have some beautiful dream that he wants to fulfill, but it's so depressing that he doesn't even try it? That's quite the question, my goodness. Don't ask about principal dreams in the hall. Uh, you know what? I have so many stupid dreams in mind, but actually, I'm trapped. Anonymous basically said, I freaking love principal. Okay, I'm scared now. Anonymous asked, where's the bathroom, Mr. Sweep? That's the same question I asked to Princey. And there's no answer yet. We just poop in the halls. Did you notice? There's no rule against that. <laughs> yes, poop in the halls. <laughs> Anonymous ships the principal and the history teacher. <laughs> That's not funny. And Anonymous said, why does Baldi's hair color keep changing? Does Baldi dye it to make people think he's not bald? I don't dye it, that's just the light reflecting off of it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm, whoever told is in trouble. You're gonna get the sloppy slap slap. Anonymous said, well, I did not want it to come to this, but pulls out a meta ruler, Baldi, I challenge you to a duel. If I win, you will have to allow calculators. And if I lose, you can choose what I do. Huh, you're dead. Oh god, he's got ruler nunchucks. Anonymous asked, do Baldi and the principal fight each other? I think you need rest. Oh yeah, I think you need a wife. Oh, got him. You get him, Baldi! Anonymous asked, has Mr. Baldi used the ruler for something other than what it's intended for? Ah, uh, I take measurements and draw them. Kirito Gamer 12 said, I don't like the ruler that Baldi has. Here's a metal one. Ah, back you evil notebooks! Get down! Get down! <laughs> Apparently the notebooks don't like the new ruler. Anonymous asked, can arts and crafters draw anime? Yeah, yeah, but, but I prefer other things like Animals, places, or, or, or Batman comics, yeah. Anonymous asked, Baldy, if I have five fish in a fish tank, and two are drowning, and the other two swim away, how many do I have? Well, first, fish can't drown. Second, how the heck did they go far away if it was in a fish bowl? So, five. <laughs> My own laboratory said, since Arts and Crafters likes Batman, how much do you want for a doodle of the Joker? Oh, do you like Batman too? I say, I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> Anonymous asked, Principal, have you ever had to call player's mother to talk about their behavior? She broke the rules of the school. I'm just saying, she needs more education. Uh, probably, but I don't remember authorizing the teacher to slap my daughter. Zoe the Flowers blog asked, does Gotta Sweep know about the existence of arts and crafters? 
What are you doing in the trash? I'm just hiding. The other kids say I'm strange. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a very strange thing to do. <laughs> Halen Killer asked, who wears the pants in your house? I mean, who's in charge with you and your wife? The two of us. One doesn't follow the other, but things change when mom is home. Iggy Spriggy asked, can I hug first prize? He's so cute! I'm coming, ready or not, here I come! And Mike Gino said, I would give a hug to first prize. I hug people for all eternity. Prepare yourself, hug commencing! And Halen Killer asked, I'm gonna ask Baldy's mother something. Well, how was Baldy's life when he was little? Was he bullied? Was he popular? Did he have a pet? How was he? He was a lonely kid. Mom, my friends laugh at this stupid haircut. I want my hair back. Which friends, Baldy? Those two who hit you? You look like a girl with your other haircut. Oh, poor little Baldy. Anonymous asked, do you take medication? I do, but it's hard to take them. You don't need to take them. It will kill you. I'm always here to help you. Remember that. Anonymous shoves the pills down Baldi's throat. Just take them! Oh god, no, wait! <laughs> What, what, what did you do to me? Get it out. They're hurting. Anonymous asked, Baldy, are you okay? <coughs> Why can't this be over? Alright. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Anonymous asked, who's knocking? <sighs> huh? Huh? Baldy, wait! Anonymous asked, Principal, what are you going to do? Are you going to go check on him or leave him alone? Baldy, can you please come out and talk to me? Don't you have paperwork to do? Oh, uh, okay. I'll let you rest then. Sorry. He's gone. Well, well, well. Anonymous called him some mean names. Well, that's not very nice to say to someone that just came in. Go in the timeout toilet. Don't do that. Yeah, whatever. Uh, boss, can I ask you a strange question? I've seen you transform into a goat, a snake, and a spider. Those are all well and good, but I'm used to them. They don't disturb me anymore. But you're the devil. You must have a ton of other tricks. What's the scariest thing you can do that I haven't seen yet? You really want to know? <laughs> all right. You ask for it. Hey, hey, King Dice! Ever noticed that my nose looks kind of like a mouth? What in the... Oh, what's the matter? Are you disturbed, Dicey? <laughs> you wanted to know, Dice! You asked for this! <sighs> That's why I stick to the goat, the snake, and the spider. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. With my sword at my side, and one mission on my mind, I seize my opportunity, and fulfill my purpose as a knight. Gah! Again? That's the fifth time in a row! I am a jellybean warrior, loyal servant of Veroness Bon Bon Bon, protector of her castle, and destroyer of S-Rex. Yeah, it's freaking stupid jellybean every time you step in on him, Peter. Poop! All around me. Show me your moves. Hmm. 
Uh, uh, oh, that's a pretty good move. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Mugman. We saved everyone in Inkwell. By golly, I'm so glad we don't ever have to see that demon ever again. <laughs> you may want to rephrase that, Cuphead. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> alive? We, we never have to see him alive again. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah. Whatever helps you sleep at night, I guess. But man, I didn't think we were going to make it out of that. Can't wait to see everyone's faces when we tell them what happened. Guess we better find a place to bury him. I mean, I kind of feel bad for this guy, baby. Come on, Muggs. I need your- <laughs> What's the matter, boys? We won, right? <laughs> Dragon Ball Z abridged. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, those stupid cuffs! Hey, Dice, watch your language, huh? Uh, uh, we don't use God around here. Oh, right, <laughs> sorry, boss. <laughs> Excuse me! Excuse me! Hey, sir! No, oh, right! Oops. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you while I was meditating. <laughs> now, sit comfortably. This Jimmy the Great will tell your fate to you. How can you tell our fate? Look at that! It's a really, really cute kid! Huh? Oh, look at her! She comes without fear! Uh, my brother loves cute creatures. I is she your kitten? Uh, yes, you're right. Actually, I love cats. She got lost, so now he's keeping her. Huh? Oh. This is the bead which tells your fate. Open your eyes widely and watch the inside of Bead. It's just our faces! Um, I said you watch the inside of Bead. Something will appear when you're watching with patience and awe. Was it that? Oh, well, <laughs> why didn't you say so? This boy didn't listen. I just said that a second ago. Uh, Cuphead, uh, I see something. Huh? Yeah, wait. We go through the path and stop at the forked path. It looks like we aren't able to select where to go. You can't select where to go. Good. Do you guess what that means? Uh, um, I don't know. It's me. If so, let's try the next. Look at that little one, Cuphead. Not only cute, but kind. How lovely she is. You love my kitten so much. Feels good, because I love cats. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, why do you serve us tea while we're giving the second test? That's the second test. First, drink the tea. Uh, okay. Look at the grounds. What shape of grounds do you see? I see devil. One horn is cut off. I see a roll of paper burned in fire. The one horn devil. Roll of paper burned. Those are the results when you chose only one path. Huh? Oh. You! Don't you understand what I said? <laughs> no. Nope. Um. Okay. Then tell me what happened to you now. Cuppet and Mugman told Jimmy all of the things related to the casino and having fights and taking soul contracts. 
The two explain together, but there's a case of one. Mmm, the casino of devil. I've been there too. Huh? You have? Yep. I was taken in by the devil and deaded in there. Deaded? You staked and lost? Uh, uh. Wait, that's strange. It's like he was deaded in the past, or, or being in the present, or he has a soul contract. <laughs> Cuphead, is it? Huh? That one's name, Jimmy? But why did he tell us his ill-fated past openly? That's strange. Maybe he forgot that he is deaded and told, well, someone's ill-fated past would be revealed someday. But if he revealed it, how would he go on living in Inkwell Isle? I don't think he's a psychic. I think he just makes a guess. So much for his life as a fortune teller. Shame to end his life without him getting married. No, I'm definitely going to get married. Uh, what on earth are those little boys thinking about bringing this kind of ordeal to me? You told us you were deaded in the casino. Your name is on the list, as we found out. Uh, hey, yo. Listen to me. You don't know how scary I am when I'm angry, do you? You better flee right now. It's about to get ugly in here. Let me show you. Then you'll regret it. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Well, that was weird. Tonight's my night! <laughs> Guys, that's over! Back to casino cups! Alright, fine. It's his favorite holiday. You'll have to excuse him. Jonah Chan deactivated said, Okay, but like, why does everyone want King Dice? Devil is better! Though he would probably never want to love. Can? He love? Also, another unrelated question. How did Elder Kettle die, if you don't mind me asking? Poison? Age? Guild? Calm down. It was age. And can I love? I used to wonder about that at night. I still have nightmares about it sometimes. Love. Disgusting. Anonymous asked, what was your family like, Dice? Ho <laughs> oh, ho. My family. Yeah. Bound for heck. <laughs> it runs in the family. Missing Tail asked, Hey Devil, can I please get a job at the casino? I could be a waitress or an entertainer and sing if you want. All right, all right. We have some open spots. You got a resume? Sounded a bit desperate there. Cute Pupper 21 asked, Hey Cuphead, what would you do if it rained money? <laughs> Opens portal. Money rain! Huh? What? Huh? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> That's cute. And Anonymous asked, You don't think there are any other members of the family left alive beside the Cup Brothers, do you? There's that chalice. But you can't really call her alive, can you? <laughs> Anonymous asked, King Dice, how long have you worked at the casino? Uh, for about six years now. Anonymous asked, Devil, what did Kala and Baroness sell their souls for exactly? Well, with Maria, you see, she was born a Gorgon. At a certain age, her eyes fully developed, and she gained her infamous powers to turn people to stone. And, well, after oceans of tears, she was tired of her friends getting turned to statues because of her. So, I kindly offered her a deal. She accepted, and so she promised her soul to become half-mermaid, and be able to control her eyes. As for the Baroness, she had a little problem with a rebellion, wanting to overthrow her. So she came to me for aid. I helped her put an end to the traitors. She even got herself a nice collection of heads. And what did I get? A broken deal, that's what. And two extra waiters. <laughs> 
Watercolor Boy asked, Hey King Dice, do you and the Cup Brothers have a secret platonic relationship? As in, you're nice and have a small soft spot for him. Or are you a mean boss all of the time? <laughs> Did you hear? Mugman has a soft spot for Kala. Oh, really? <laughs> Cheers, buddy! Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. I'm sorry to hear that, Muggy. Believe me, those two don't need a soft spot from me. But a mean boss? Why, I beg to differ. I think I'm a very fair boss. Fair? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we're buds, but we're buds that sometimes want to destroy each other, I think. <laughs> Cake one 2 3 said, Fun fact about the Christian religion, Jesus and Lucifer, a.k.a. the devil, are brothers. I guess they would be. But wouldn't they be more like half-brothers? Anonymous asked, Can you show us your morning routine, King Dice? I need to know what do you do to look so fabulous? <laughs> Sorry, a mere morning routine isn't enough to get you this kind of fabulous. <laughs> Rather nosy, ain't ya? <laughs> Anonymous asked, so why did you pick the diamond and spade for the boys, Mrs. Devil Sir? I didn't pick it for them. Something to do with their magic must have. The symbols were engraved into their souls. My tailors were the ones that decided to put them on their uniform. I never- Wait. This is devil, sir? Huh? <laughs> that might be my favorite typo ever. <laughs> Monkilo asked, was it awkward when the devil came back after he was defeated? It wasn't exactly awkward, per se. Well, well, how kind of you to visit your, what was it, good-for-nothing lackey, you said? Shut up! This is your fault, you- Oh yeah, blame it on the one who literally tried to warn you that this would happen! <laughs> Traitors! All of them! Marissa of Underground asked, So, Mugman, how do you know about Pachinko? Hey, Pachinko! They love you! Huh? Uh... Pachinko's great! He doesn't talk much, so that's probably why most don't know him. Miss Pirouletta introduced him to me. He kinda clings to her a lot of the time. Wonder what happened to everyone in this casino. <laughs> Skip SV asked, has the devil ever had to step in when there was trouble in the casino? Rarely, but yes, every now and then I have to get my hands dirty. Really? I've never seen you do it. Count yourself lucky, then. Is that a threat? Because I kicked your butt once, I'll do it again! Anonymous asked, Cup, have you considered you don't think highly about love because you don't want to love girls? Or have you already concluded that you aren't interested in romance at all? And for both of the brothers, who were the most difficult bosses? Not interested at all, thanks. Uh, but most difficult, uh, that would be... I remember Grim was a nightmare to fight. Oh gosh, I remember. Our planes were in repair, and we couldn't use them to go after him. We had to figure out how to walk on clouds to get to that tower. Oh, Dr. Cal and his robot. Oh yeah. He was difficult, all right. I'll be honest though, fighting King Dice was hard. Eh, he wasn't hard. He was just infuriating. Still is. <laughs> Remember how you lost it during our battle with him? Well, yeah! Thanks to that dang start over title! And I have a note from the artist. Dr. Cal's robot was doable. King Dice fight was nerve-wrecking. Grim Matchstick's fight was designed by a sadist whose lullaby is the crying of players. <laughs> Livy Chan 26 asked, I want to see Cuphead flirt. I'll give you $50 if you do your best. Uh, Come on, Cuphead, think of something. You need that 50. Come on, use your head! Uh, can I offer you a drink? Top on the menu is me. <laughs> also, can I have my money now? That was agonizing. Fifty bucks? That wasn't worth fifty cents. G -g Good effort. Major Garte asked, Have King Dice, the Devil, or any other employee ever protected any of you from a mad or angry customer? It's not really the customers, but... The employees themselves. I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for King Dice, Mr. Wheezy would have cooked us alive by now. Psh, 
I bet I could take Wheezy on a second time. Well, how many times did he have to save you from Hocus Pocus? Oh, please. But anyway, when it comes to customers, so far we didn't have that much trouble. So we're left to deal with them for ourselves. Though, wasn't there that one guy? Yeah, but he wasn't an angry customer. He was just annoying. But didn't he threaten you? Yeah, I swear, he was asking for a fight. King Dice stepped in to distract him. If he didn't, that guy would have gotten what he asked for. I swear! Glad he did then. Yeah, but he didn't protect me or anything. I could have handled it myself. <laughs> Whatever you say. Psychedelic Ninja asked, I guess after that little Bible prank of yours, you definitely have a spot in heck waiting for you, huh, Cupsy? I kind of want to forget that ever happened. <laughs> That's not how it works. I won't forget. Anonymous asked, have you ever tried a scaring prank, like on Dice or Devil? Nah, but I've been wanting to do one as payback for the ones they have done. <laughs> yeah, the devil likes to do his, uh, shape-shifting tricks sometimes. What the? Why is there a picture of me here? <laughs> How was that for a prank? Terrible. I hate you. Wait, did King Dice also do something? Well, it wasn't just him. Hey, Cuphead, wanna see something you like? Burning. Nani? What are you doing? Relax, it's fake. What is wrong with you lot? <laughs> A cool code blog asked, King Dice, how long have you been working in the casino? Oh wow, I think I've been in this rat infested place like somewhere around two years. Rat infested? <laughs> Anonymous asked, hey, little Dice, do you ever look back and wish that you never tried to pickpocket the devil? What do you think you would be doing right now if you never did? I'm not going to lie, I thought about it in the past, but when I think about it, I prefer to be here than home. At least someone here cares about me. Isn't that right, little buddy? Huh? Anonymous asked, if Cuphead and Mugman did meet Young Dice, how would they treat him? I'd love to let you go to the next world, but I need you to give me the contracts. You know, the contracts that you don't get from doing it on easy mode. Let me guess, too hard for you two to do? You purple bow tie wearing little jerk! Cuphead, please don't. See you later, losers. Screw you! Yeah, pretty sure they'd hate him. <laughs> Bloody Emily asked, does King Dice ever get in trouble and have a punishment from the big man himself? If so, what's his punishment? <laughs> I'm so awesome. <laughs> oh, and what do we have here? You drawing in your little book again instead of doing your job? You know what is going to happen now, right? Please, boss. I'm sorry. I will not do it again. Please forgive me. I always try to avoid doing any tasks, and I usually get away with it. But when the devil does catch me slacking off, he has really creative ways to punish me. Hey, everybody. This boy's head is your dice for tonight. Please be gentle. Anonymous asked, does the devil use that goat disguise a lot or only to trick people? In the past, I used it only to trick people, but now I also like to use it to remind Dice how exactly he ended up here. <laughs> Boss, we need you out there. We have a guy that bet his soul and he lost, but he doesn't want to give us his, huh? You know what this reminds me of? An old story from my childhood when I was your age. <laughs> why, boss? Just why? Oh, don't do it! Don't eat my face! Do not eat my... You ate his face? What in the freaking world is wrong with you? Oh, God. I gotta tell someone. I'm out of here! Oh no, busted! <laughs> Don't tell anyone about this, okie dokie! Huh? 
Huh? What? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. I won't tell anybody. Mom, about this sealed? He does look like Bling Bling Boy in disguise, though, doesn't he? There is only one way to beat this guy. Huh? We use teamwork. I'm so happy to hear you say that, Sus. Yeah. Oh, God, what? Why? Oh, the humanity. What are you? A cute sandwich. Louder! I'm a cute sandwich! Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I want to see my little baby boy. Here he comes! Oh god, Susie, please let me down. Please! No! Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Uh -huh. Girl, I can't see at all. The developer thought it was a good idea to not give me eyes. If you clowns want to join us... Pledge loyalty. We pledge loyalty to the Lancer Fan Club. They are perfect! <laughs> Those fools. I am Ruxel's Khan. Thou's greatest adversary. And now, prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thou's life. You toil worms! Puzzle completed. <laughs> Don't dang it! We should probably leave. Yes, we really should. So, this is the puzzle you were talking about earlier. It seems really easy. Oh, Worm, this is the most greatest puzzle of thou's life. You see, Worm, this puzzle... You don't even need to use the box when you can just step on it. Oh. Uh, oh, are you all right? I, I, uh... Oh, would you, uh, uh like to help you make another puzzle? Hey, Chris, you know you can press X to run, right? Oh, and you can bring up your menu with C. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Uh, huh? What the heck is C? C, X, press C? Hey, Susie. Huh? Can you pat my head? Sure. Yay! <laughs> uh, that felt kind of fleshy and warm. I thought he was wearing a hood. Okay, my turn to pat you. <laughs> Susie! Sorry, Papa, no! I won't do it again! I'm sorry! Sans, the great Papyrus has something very important to ask of you. Well, what's up? Is it about capturing humans again? No, it's not about humans this time, Lazybones. If it's not about humans again, then what is it that you want to ask me about, Paps? The great Papyrus is willing to ask this. Why did I find an itty bitty mini you out in the snow? Jeez, would you look at that? It really is a mini-me after all. Now I need to go find myself a mini-me now. Dad, what happened to you? You look short, and your breath smells like stinky tomatoes. D -d dad I still think we should just eat it. No, Kyle, that's a bad idea. All right, all right. Huh? We're going to be parents! Oh god, I'm not ready! It's okay, Stan. It'll probably be easier than looking after Sparky. Take that, Garrison! Ha! Dude, don't talk about the guy that almost killed our baby! Our baby? Pa? Papa? Dude, it's a chick. <laughs> hey, what about me? <laughs> Did you hear that, Stan? They think we're their pack pack. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks so much for watching November's Comic Dubs! If you enjoyed those pieces, be sure to leave a like on the video before you go! And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to join the VO crew! I post a new video every single day! Today in the comments, let me know which piece is your favorite! There's a lot to choose from!